10 years ago, Pat Casey's dream yard was posted on YouTube. It changed my brother and I's perspective on what backyard's potential really was. And you guessed it, we were invited to ride that today. Oh my God, this place gets gnarlier every single time I come here. Pat became an inspiration and turned into an idol for us at a young age when dream yards one through four were posted on YouTube for you to watch. It all began with the half pipe, spine, and box jump in the center. Holy crap. Part two dropped where there were massive dirt jumps created. We can't ride them, so let's skip to part three. The giant wall ramp and the mini half pipe was installed. And at the end of this video, Pat Casey landed something called a world's first, a trick the world has never seen. And then the finale, part four. His craziest creations were conceived. Our favorite kind of obstacle to expand your trick list with minimum consequences is installed the step up. This is like a nine foot ramp right here. And not even, that's just the top of the ramp, but the landing is like probably 12 feet. So you have to jump up another three feet and then you have to jump out like maybe six, seven feet that way. So, so there's less impact. So you do more tricks. Pat crushed it and now it's our time to shred. This is uh, the world's craziest backyard skate park. In our opinion. <laughs> it, no, it literally, it literally shows for itself. They had X Games here. That's how crazy this place is. Like this is no joke. If Corey and I ever had like a, when Corey and I have this budget. Yeah, I was about to say, I was like, bro. When Corey and I have this budget, this is very, very similar to what we want, but maybe it might be scaled down just a little bit because it's made for bikes. And scooters can catch up a little bit, but they can't crank a pedal, which helps them go a lot much higher. And they're faster and they're bigger, so. Don't worry, I could, I could do it. I'm not saying you can't, obviously. Corey's cable, because he's the boost king. When Pat was building this park, when he created this park, he really wanted to create like this kind of action figures type of like ramp that was like kind of like too crazy for people to even imagine hitting so that's what this ramp is here it literally goes to nothing but what you have to do is you have to flip from here to this point so are you like, gonna try it no it truly was a dream come true to ride here. I'm not in my prime anymore and I have three kids and I'm out of shape, but I've never been so excited to ride a park. Thanks so much to Chase for inviting us. God damn it, you actually <laughs> got me. God damn it, that actually got me. Actually... It's crazy, like we can have like seven different sessions here. Like in this area we can sesh, they can sesh in that area. People can ride over there. Like there's so many different like avenues of areas where you can just hang out and just ride this park in separate places where like 10 people could be riding in different places. You know what's crazy about any action sport is that if someone has the drive and the resources, they can become the best. And sometimes even without resources, people with just drive can do it. But something like this makes it so much easier. So WBMX, who's a BMX rider I've been following for so long. He watched the Funk Bros way back in the day. He was a little kid riding this place. Now he's a full grown adult and he's like one of the top. And that's crazy. So it's just like, what a blessing to be here an opportunity to ride the spot. Because if you love something, this is the, the creme, de, creme de lait of it, which is like the best of the best in, oh. in French or something. Oh yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no idea what it creme is. De la. Creme de lait. Creme de lait. That has what it's Bro, it's riding a Suron back here. Oh my God. Meet WBMX, a good friend of mine and an OG viewer of this channel. He's an up and coming legend in the BMX community. Give him a follow. Meet Reed. This is Pat Casey's son who's spreading with all the local pros. Next, I met Tyrone for the first time today. He goes higher than everyone else and this dude isn't afraid of anything. And we have another professional rider who we used to ride with in Nitro Circus and that is Andy Buckworth. Sadly, Pat Casey passed away 10 months ago in an accident. We want to use this video to commemorate and celebrate his impact on us and the world around him. To support his family who still resides here and keeps the dream yard running, please join us in supporting them. Link in our description. Let's celebrate his life by shredding his dream yard. I just spoke with all the BMXer guys. They're wrapping up early. Dubby, had a pretty bad crash. I'll show you guys what happened. Let's go over here. So we did a 360 downside tail up over the top of it. He overcorrected and he went straight into this little hole. He jumped over this down there and luckily somehow only banged his head twice with a helmet on, scraped up his arm, but he was able to ride after, but he called it early. So he happy he's okay. Yep, you can see the mark right here. Yeah. Pretty much if that was me, I'd be hospitalized, but he somehow fit through, landed on the ground, rolled out and was okay. Corey, watch out! <laughs> You okay, dude? Yeah, I'm good. Dude, hell yeah, dude. I just gotta get home. Are you okay? I was just telling him about how you fell. Yeah, I died. It's like a miracle. Like, how, like you jumped through, did you hit anything on the way down? Yeah, I hit two posts okay. in my head. I did a front flip, landed Holy. on my back. <laughs> oh, okay, you, he died. Yeah, I died. You died, wow. Yeah, I'm literally. glad you're okay. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, man. <laughs> nice seeing you, dude. Yeah. I've seen this kid, I've seen this guy grow up over Instagram too. Go from like little shredder to 
full time pro, which is sick. All right, yeah. we're gonna miss you, I'm buddy. I'm tired. It's the end of the day. I'll, for me. I'll, I want to come up to Texas really bad, especially when you guys get that. Yeah. Mega Ram going. You guys, like, I watch all the fucking videos. Yeah. Really? You guys do so much fun stuff, and Appreciate I would love it. to come out. Oh, yeah. You were yeah, always invited. Yeah. You could live there if you want for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, bro, chill out. Are we just, we just like actually met for the first time. <laughs> no, we met fucking a while ago. Yeah, we popped, we popped in. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, go, always good to see you guys. Oh, yeah, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Oh, yeah, man. You. Yep. Appreciate it. You're sick. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate okay. it. Legend. <laughs> I think it would be a really cool thing to do is after you do this, I want to look at the skate park and like see like how they built it and like what we could learn from it. So if we do and build ours, like we can kind of look at it. But like, I think that is huge. Yeah, it's I mean, cool like, how they use cinder blocks too for some of the posts. No, oh, it's just for the bases. So like, yeah. But yeah, yeah. we'll discuss that after after we do some tricks. The BMX riders left, so now it's our turn to go crazy. Nice, <laughs> bro. Crushing it. How's that step up feel? It's good. This take, skate park just takes a lot of. Like you can't crank, you have to pump everything. Yeah. It's such a big park. The skate park was made for BMX bikes that can crank and pedal because on a scooter, a skateboard, rollerblades, you have to use your own weight. But on a bicycle, there's something really special. You can gain speed at any moment, any time by just pedaling. And uh, that's what it was made for. So adjusting that with, uh, most strictly was just using the tools for just pumped base speed. A lot more challenging, but more fun to learn. And we gotta watch out for these holes because it's not really scooter park, you know, we gotta make it work. I'm gonna formally just sesh on this. I feel like this is like where I would like to focus my time. With this resi, it's like very forgiving for my old bones, even though I look very young. I probably am very young, but I feel very old. Oh, it feels so clean, Corey, it's like a nice man. Just a dad, you know, doing dad stuff. Like Don't want to get hurt. <laughs> I'm just like, don't hurt me, fall my ass. You should do a lot of tail whips. Like a lot of tilt. You're gonna try to do five, but you're gonna do six on accident. Alright, go for it. <laughs> you did five. Alright, well almost got it. That's my sick trick. Josie Kata, as an Australian rider, named it after me. I did it in an edit way back in like 2000. What was that? 2000? 13, 14, okay. All right, enough talk about myself. You okay? I'm old, bro. Like, like I got way too many excuses, but I'm trying. I literally feels like me today. I'm just an excuse warrior. Oh! Wow, almost barely made it. <laughs> <laughs> bro, <laughs> Yeah, you literally landed not even on the knuckle. You landed like straight before it. Hey, Capron, yeah. you suck. Thank you. All right, good luck. Oh, what the fuck? With a late whip, too! I swear to God, Capron's landed more tricks in this video than I have myself. <laughs> I'm an old man, I'm washed, got three children, I'm doing better than you, man. You buff ass little boy. Yeah. Oh, right there, I'm Yeah? If I land this, I'm officially better than you right now. Uh, okay, well, what do I have to do to be better than you? Uh, okay, I got it. Oh, no! <laughs> I was gonna like flip a bunch of whips and then I was like, I don't, who am I anymore? After a fun session, now it's time to see how we can use this place as inspiration to build our own skate park in the future. Just wrapped up my dream session and now we're gonna follow Corey and we're gonna look at the infrastructure, the flow. We took pictures because the goal was to take this, how this layout works and functions and uh, see how we can learn from it and adapt to it and create our dream backyard because I mean why not learn from the best right yeah so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at the good part like or sorry this the v2 version because obviously all this is like awesome but there's definitely a reason why they built the rest of this is because it all flows it all works as one thing and I would want mine to work in both directions so you can go one way and the other one so I want to start over here I really like to see this stuff like the base because then I know that I don't have to buy like for instance uh, this is this is what they would usually use Here's a base one right here. See so how it has these these uh these metal prongs. You stick wood in there and then you drill the the screws through it and it oh. holds it to it. It's like one piece. Yeah. So, but this isn't. This is just a piece. This is just a brick. That's they just bricks. set it down and put it on top. Realistically, I mean, they're just ramps. But I mean, it's good to see other. Wow, they're not even using two by four. They're using like 
two by six, which is crazy. But yeah, realistically, what I'm mostly like curious about is just all this because it's when it rains, see all these huge ruts right here? These ruts will definitely just like destroy like the structure. Yeah, if, th if this falls, this whole ramp will just break in half right here. And you don't want that to happen. But realistically, I mean, we just want to build ramps that are going to last a long time. So the biggest thing is like, I'd, I'd like to ask Chase exactly what Pat did and or Pat's builders, what they did to build this park. So I'd say the coolest thing about this is that all of these sections are built separately. Like this is built separately, this is built separately, this is built separately, and they're all just screwed together to make it wider. So you really just have to build the same thing multiple times and then just put them together. Like I bet this transition is the same as that next to the, the, the one over there and then so on and so forth. So, so it's almost like Legos, copy, like paste it. building blocks. Yeah, they can just copy paste it and just blow it and put them all together. To look at this park in like, in like just easy sections right now is that you have the ramps going up this way and then just a box. And that box has a ramp connected here and a ramp connected here. And those ramps are just copy pasted across with good foundational pieces. So at that point, it's just skeleton and then stuff on top. So it's pretty, it's it's fairly simple, but it's a lot of work to not only that like maintain, but to build. And then also just the weather kind of eroding it slowly, but surely it's just kind of like inevitable for you to have to put more cost in it later on. And Texas has humidity, which can yeah, bring so a lot of wood damage quickly. But metal ramps would be awesome to do. So And I know where some metal ramps are. Oh, really? Yep. That's sick. Well, if we were to somehow get some like metal ramps, like we could literally just put them in and they'll be good for like 25 years probably. Maybe we could have like a Frankenstein skate park, a bunch of random different oh. types of ramps. Yeah, that'd be cool because then you can move them. Like if we got a forklift and we just pick them up, move them whenever we wanted to. Like we literally could switch the skate park, like new configuration this week. Ooh, that'd be smart. Then we give our fans the ability to change it and mix it up exactly. as much as we can. That would be really cool. So then, because the wood, you're bounded by like it having to be certain ways. Otherwise, you just destroy it by picking up the ramps. So that's a cool thing to look at. Like, Positive, negative, po uh, negative is that you can't move it around. Uh, the ramps are road. Positive for doing a metal ramp. So you could probably pick them up, move them. Um, they'll last longer. Um, probably more expensive. But then we also have to make put concrete on the ground. That's the really big negative. That's there. the expensive part. Because none of this is concrete. This is all wood to wood to wood to wood. They're and all that's, Yeah, and that's where they saved lots of money. Yeah, they did save a lot of money doing that. And we got to learn that because uh, we're not millionaires. We're trying our best with the budget we have. And, Sooner or later. And that's the, I mean, yeah, the goal is to obviously succeed in life and become wealthy. and. I'm sure everyone feels that way, it's very yeah. similar, but to get there, it's not easy. It's a, you gotta forge your own path. Yeah. Or uh, follow others that have done it, you know, the way we feel like we should and make our own, so. Yeah, they killed it here. They, they, this they is a, this it, is right? a, in our eyes, or in my eyes personally, this is a masterpiece. This is my Mozart. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah. And overall, like, this is the coolest backyard skate park I have ever seen. There's only one other skate park I've seen on the internet showing a backyard skate park, but this one tops it for sure, this is just because of how big this entire thing is. Yeah. Like, it flows together, too. Like, I talk about flow a lot. This skate park has a lot of flow. Yeah, if you ever want to unlock a legendary achievement in, like, Tony Hawk Underground Skater, you go to this skate park to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> so it looks like our session here at Pat Casey's backyard has gotten rained out, so we can't ride anymore now. But I just want to thank Chase Casey for letting us come out, and uh, it was really great to see everyone. And I'm excited to build something like this in my own backyard. I, I really, I really believe that one day I'm gonna build something just like this. But this is just like crazy but I'm just like trying to do a video of just like ultimately just like everything about this like yeah. how did it come up like how did it how, like how did it start like why did he start here yeah. like why did he build it here like like how is this allowed mm -hmm. like I think I remember I came out here and I asked him that but um I think yeah so I mean I can't speak fully on Pat's behalf but yeah he did oh get the house God. as soon as he graduated from high school like he just really he, like signed escrow just for the, the day he graduated high school had the house and then like at first it's set up when I first came over here my first time it was just like the half pipe spine area with just the box yeah and like he obviously filmed dream yards oh wait it was just the half pipe with the spine yeah half so pipe just the spine, spine. in one box so he filmed like dream yards and you guys could always look up the dream yards yeah and like you you'll see in the dream yards it comes from there and then he would do dream yard too so monster ended up like funding they did so well yeah. so like she would, they would fund an extra layer of like ramps so it'd be like dream yard two and then an extra layer of ramps with dream yard three and so on so on and now this is just like what's been created and i i think he's just always liked having his own setup and here and like yeah this screams fat casey when you come so like what was like the most recent thing that he did here this most recent thing is right here the double box yeah it wasn't two boxes so right there, it's it's one and then yeah. two. Okay. At first, it was just a quarter right there. Yeah, I remember that. I I wrote it, I wrote it when it was like that. So yeah. how recent was that? Um, that that one right there. Yeah. That Last was like a couple weeks before he passed. Last, Last March. March. 
Yeah, I'm just I'm just getting a little more history on it because it like this is such an amazing like build like like coming here is like it's an inspiration, but only that like showing and showcasing one of the coolest backyard skate parks I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Like and talking yeah. about it, like showing it off because like no one has something like this. They even had X Games here. Like yeah. no one can say that. Yeah. Sure. And so it's like it's pretty cool to be like coming here in like a vlog format and show like everything yeah. around and what it looks like and yeah. walk around and look how big the ramps are. It's like it's. It's on top really of that, amazing. You got the dirt jumps as well. Yeah, that top it off. That's what that that tops <laughs> it off for sure. Like we want to say thank you to Pat and Chase for giving us the opportunity to ride at the Dream Yard. Make sure you guys support them with the link that's in our description.